What's for everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12 Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now, today we're going to talk about Mixtool and why to use it and how to use it. So, Mixtool is a trim plugin and it basically does the same thing as your volume fader does. And now you're going to ask me, well, why would I use that? Why wouldn't I just use the fader? It doesn't make any sense. Um, all right, so let's break it down. Your volume fader has a um, um, has something called resolution right so if you so if you pay attention to the numbers here the distance that it takes to go um to go down 12 db right it from ha is it is roughly halfway through the fader so if you see from zero to negative 12 that's about halfway now if you look and you look at the numbers from here um to it's from that point to go to go down um, from negative 12 to negative 24 which is a 12 db range it becomes much smaller which means that which means that um if you if you do not use um some preliminary gain staging like like mix tool or the output um from from your vsts to adjust your volume to get a good preliminary mix by the time by the time you set your initial balance and you go around turning things down um this the, the these small fader movements become much more drastic and it makes it it's so much more difficult to get a good mix because instead of you know instead of moving this down you know one point or two point and and hearing that subtle difference now you're hearing much larger differences so the way that I like to use mix tool is I'll put it on top of you know it'll be the first insert on every one of my tracks and I'll just go ahead and insert it here um, and if you if you click on the triangle and select expand you get um you get this menu right here and all you have to do is click and drag up or down and it will it will um you know give you 24 um, either um they give you a range of 24 db set from zero to either go up or down so um so the way that i the way that i'll work with this is i will is i will set my preliminary balance using using just the mix tool plugins listen listen to my track and then if i need to if i need to turn something up or down i'll do it i'll i'll then use my faders and that allows me to get a much more fine and surgical precise volume adjustment when using the faders which that is what you want that's what you, that that is how um professionals have been using faders ever since mixers have been invented so and i feel like this is this is a fundamental technique that is overlooked by um you know by folks in the doll world just because they don't have this background from um you know doing stuff in studios in the analog world so that's my gift to you guys today this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one